This week, I'm focusing in on heat and UV rays. We've seen the heat advisories here in Southwest Florida this summer. Being outside in this weather can make you sweat a lot. And in today's Your Healthy Family, I'm explaining the dangers of dehydration. It's typical to get thirsty while working out in the yard or sweat while playing sports outside. But if you're having trouble concentrating or feeling fatigued, you may be dehydrated. Some of the signs and symptoms can include headache, muscle aches, muscle cramps, um, some nausea, and maybe even dizziness and lightheadedness. Cleveland Clinic Emergency Medicine Dr. Tom Waters says dehydration happens when the body loses more fluid than it takes in. You've heard this message before. It's important to hydrate before heading out into the heat, but you should also avoid caffeine and alcohol. When working outside on a hot day, you should drink at least eight ounces of water every 15 to 20 minutes. If you feel heat stress coming on, Dr. Waters says to take a break from what you're doing. Heat cramps and heat exhaustion can be treated at home with fluids, rest, and air conditioning. But if you stop sweating, that's a sign you may be severely dehydrated. And it becomes a medical emergency if you start to feel confused or disoriented. If one notices that they're starting to have any mental status changes or neurologic changes, that means you're moving into to heat stroke, that is an acute life-threatening condition, and that needs to be addressed in your local closest heat emergency department. Now, Dr. Waters says dehydration can progress to heat stroke, which can lead to organ failure or even death. So make sure you are drinking plenty of water before, during, and after activities in the heat. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg, and coming up in tomorrow's Your Healthy Family, I'm focusing in on harmful UV rays.